Our next award is for exceptional generosity in philanthropy, and this year's winner is a titan of television. He is an inspiration to millions, and pretty much the closest thing that we've got to a living legend of show business. And I'm not just saying that because I'm currently in negotiations for my 16th year on Britain's Got Talent. He is... Simon Cowell, he is one of our dearest friends, and to present the awards, would you please welcome another good friend, the gorgeous Lauren Silverman. Good evening, everyone. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Lauren, Simon Cowell's fiance. When Variety, the children's charity, told me Simon would be receiving an award tonight and then asked me to present it to him on stage, I was thrilled for him, but also utterly terrified. Unlike Simon, being on stage is not something familiar to me and makes me feel extremely nervous. <laughs> but, being given this opportunity to speak for the first time publicly about the man I love and about something that I know means so much to him, the answer was, of course, yes. So here I am facing my fear tonight on this stage. The award I am presenting is to acknowledge Simon's exceptional generosity in philanthropy. Over the near decade, Simon and I have been together Charity and helping others has been a huge part of his life and therefore mine. Like Variety, the children's charity, supporting initiatives that give children and young people a better future is truly what drives Simon. For those of you who aren't aware, Simon is vice president of Shooting Star Children's Hospices, which, thank you, through its hospice, provides end-of-life care and support for families who have children with life-limiting illnesses. He is also patron of Together for Short Lives, which is the nationwide umbrella charity that helps families who have children with life-limiting illnesses. He is an ambassador of the London Music Fund, whose mission is to transform underserved communities by enabling children to access high-quality music education he is a founder and patron of the Katie Piper Foundation, which is a charity that helps burn victims with their treatment and recovery, which was started by our beautiful friend, Katie, who is here tonight as one of our guests, accompanied by her lovely husband, Richard. I have had the privilege and the honor of becoming a patron and supporter of all of these charities alongside Simon, and I have seen the firsthand excuse me, I've seen firsthand the truly incredible work that they do day in and day out. Throughout the years, Simon has also helped countless other organizations, families, children, individuals, and animals, as we all know what an enormous animal lover Simon is. Most of the work Simon does is completely private, and he has never wanted or sought any recognition for these acts of generosity and kindness. Put simply, he has always done it because he cares so deeply. His aim is to make a difference to people's lives by helping however and whenever he can. Becoming a parent has only amplified this for Simon. Helping others is something that is so hugely important to us as a family. Simon has been teaching our eight-year-old son, Eric, the value and, now I'm gonna cry, and the importance of helping others. It means so much to me as a mom for our son to have a father and my elder son, Adam, to have a stepfather who is such an amazing role model in so many ways. <laughs> Finally, before I welcome Simon to the stage, I would like to say on a personal note 
how very proud I am of you tonight and to tell you how much I respect and admire you. The work you do both in the public eye and even more so privately behind the scenes is truly inspiring. To see you being honored here tonight for something I know as your partner is such a huge part of your character and who you are as a person makes my heart feel very full. Quite simply, Simon, you are a mensch. Congratulations on this award tonight, my love. You truly deserve it. Simon Cowell, everyone. I'm completely upstaged. <laughs> um, oh gosh. Uh, Lauren, I love you so much. I do. Uh, look, thank you so much uh, for this. I, I won't call it an award, because uh, it doesn't feel like an award. Um, it's, uh, I, I suppose, a, a chance for me to say that look, I've been very lucky. Uh, I've learnt through my life and my career that I've had pretty much more satisfaction giving rather than taking. Um, and I've met the most amazing people along the way. Um, and this is an incredibly special night. I think what this charity does is remarkable. And I also want to say something, even though I don't work for the BBC, what an incredible organisation you are. You know, the fact that would children in need exist without the BBC? I don't believe it would. And you are the, the corporation we all go to to trust. So you deserve a massive round of applause along with this charity tonight. So, like I said, Lauren has completely upstaged me. Thank you for what you said. And... Uh, I, like I said, I've had a tremendous opportunity to meet the most amazing people along the way. So thank you all. Thank you very much. Well done, Donna. I thought the deal was done. <laughs> no, it's not. The deal is not done. 